Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social and today I want to talk to you about how to dress when you're going to go out and approach women. When you're going to an event, when you're going somewhere where you think the opportunities are going to arise, what you should, should you be wearing? What simple guide can you use in order to dress as well as you can in a way that's going to express your personality and attract the type of women that you want to attract? So the first thing I'd say is forget about the big labels. If you're the kind of guy that likes to go out with a big Gucci written on his shirt, a big Ralph Lauren logo, some Calvin Klein uh, stickers on the front, if you're thinking about any of that, I would strongly recommend going against it. Reason being is that if that's the method that you're using to attract women, they're gonna label you in one box, which is the guy as the guy with all this money that he needs to show people in order to feel validation from them. If you're the kind of guy that goes out to flaunt your labels, a woman just looks at you as someone that's telling them that he's got a lot of money. You're basically laying yourself, you're laying gold digger traps everywhere. You're saying, if you're a gold digger, I'm your guy. Look at me, I've got the big labels. And essentially what it says about you is that you've been sold to. These companies, these corporations that are producing show clothes for two or three pounds and then selling it to you for two or three hundred pounds are essentially just laughing in their seats with a glass of whiskey and a cigar laughing at the fact that you've, you've actually been sold the rubbish that they were selling and women are saying, right, there's a rich guy with more money than sense, let me go for him. That's not to say don't buy nice clothes, maybe even expensive clothes, but if you do, make sure it's subtle. Make sure the label's on the inside or it's a tiny detailing on the sleeve. Don't go around flaunting the big labels because no one gives you respect, really. They just assume that you've got more money than you do intelligence. The next thing I'd say is smarter is generally speaking better. So if I were to go out in a shirt, a blazer, slim trousers, moccasins or loafer shoes, yes I am going to get better responses because women look at me and they see that I know at least how to dress. I know what generally speaking looks good versus a guy that's wearing baggy ripped jeans, dirty trainers, a ripped shirt uh, and some top hat or some funny straw hat. It's better to go smarter if possible. However, again, don't fall into the slave mindset. Don't see a blazer that you like on an advert and say, right, I'm gonna get that blazer and those trousers because inevitably a hundred other people will have done the same thing. There'll be thousands of other guys wearing those exact same clothes, that same outfit, because if a corporation's selling to one person, they're likely selling to another person. And you want women to look at you and respect you for the way that you're expressing yourself and not for the, for the fact that you spend the money that you've earned on pointless and overpriced pieces of clothing. You're gonna get more respect for wearing the kind of clothes that you like in colors that aren't necessarily conventional colors, but the colors that you like with the styles and the detailing that you like, aware that you haven't just seen them on an Instagram post and gone out and bought them because you've been sold to. You wanna show that you have more strength of mind than that. Dress in things that are different, that are interesting, in colors that are unconventional. For me, I love white t-shirts because they're simple, they're plain, they look smart, and I genuinely like white t-shirts. So I will wear white t-shirts with a pair of like colorful trousers that aren't that tight, skinny fit, but they're just like a nice, slim fit that taper down. These are all things, not that I've just seen online and I've thought, oh, that guy looks good in them, so let me buy them. They're things that I've gone out and said, actually, what would I really like? If I wasn't being sold to, what would I really like? So keep it simple. White t-shirts are a great staple thing to have in your wardrobe, but buy some different types of things. Do you like the color purple? If so, buy some clothes in purple. No one really does that, but that doesn't mean that it's off limits, and that doesn't mean that when the women that you're attracted to see you are gonna think, wow, this guy's a bit different, he's actually got some identity. He's actually thinking for himself and doing what a lot of other people would be too nervous or too thoughtless to do themselves. So think about it this way. If an extraterrestrial, if an alien came down from Mars, though the scientists don't expect that they will, and came down to Earth and had a look around at the people and they saw what everyone was wearing, who do you think they would think the top of society is? Do you think it would be the people in Canary Wharf dressed exactly the same in their suits and ties and grey jackets? Or do you think it would be the people that are dressed colourfully? The people that are dressed differently? The few people that look completely different from someone else? 
the people that have invested a little bit of conscious thought into what it is that they feel is the best expression of them. Probably they would think that the people that were actually the most in control, the dominant forces, were the ones that are dressed uniquely, the ones that are dressed spontaneously, they're dressed colourfully, they aren't dressed exactly the same as everybody else. If someone were to come down and they'd never seen our civilization before, they wouldn't think that the people dressed exactly the same were the ones in charge. So have a think about that. We've been sold the idea that everyone should dress a certain way, but really the people that stand out are the ones that are dressed differently. So if you're going out, you don't want people to be able to put you in a box and pigeonhole you. You don't want them to be able to say, oh, that guy's an accountant, that guy's a lawyer, that guy with his long beard and his bow ties, probably some crazy intellectual living from place to place and traveling in a van. You want to have a bit of mystery. You don't want people to be able to put you in a box. It's just the same with something like Instagram. If you're putting all your photos up on Instagram and you're posing against a rock in one and you've got a surfboard next to you in the other and you're smiling with the fake wide smile, people know what you're about. They know a lot about your personality from the way that you're presenting yourself in these images or in the clothing that you're wearing. But the people that really stand out, the people that really spike someone's interest are the ones that have a profile or they wear clothes that people can't quite get their head around. They can't put you in the box. They don't know whether you're the creative, the lawyer, the writer, the artist. They just don't know because nothing agrees. You have nuances, you have nuanced opinions, you have nuanced ideas. The way you live your life is unique and individual and not characterized by the same systems that everybody else lives and dresses by. So when you're thinking about dressing up and going out and meeting the people that you want to meet, don't think that wearing the big brands and dressing like that person you saw in the advert is going to be the way to find a meaningful relationship or build a meaningful connection with someone because really they're just going to look at you at what those brands represent the money or the, or the or the ability to provide but not really taking into account you as a person not really taking into account your unique nuances and characteristics that separate you from everybody else so dress your own way think about what you actually like the colors you like the styles you like dress how you want to dress and if you are the kind of person on Instagram on another note have a bit more mystery. Don't just put up the same pictures that you see everybody else doing. Take a picture of something that you like, a picture you see on the wall, a view that looks unique, and then mix that up in with candid pictures of you with your friends. The people that stand out the most are the ones that aren't trying to win the favor and the good opinion of other people. They're the ones that are happy doing things their own way, having their own style, and making it work for themselves. This has been Sam talking to you from Shoreditch, and I'll see you in the next video. Sam, out.